for from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace john chapter 1 verse 16 hello beautiful family a very warm welcome back to the love is touch food channel thank you all so much for coming today back today we're going to talk about fish here if you're talking about great tasty and exclusive fishes you can never count red snappers out it is one of the perfect fish you could ever have so today i like to share with you how you can perfectly fry your red snappers and also make a very tasty stew with it let's get started absolutely delicious so let's begin by cleaning this fish we're going to take off the scales fins and all the intestines that we do not need in this fish all right So if you have a kitchen scissors, it's really, really do help with this process. It makes everything go so fast. All right. So once you're done, we're going to take off the girls from the head part, which is very, very key. I want you to pay attention how I made mine. It makes things really, really easy by removing all the unwanted intestines and all the inner belly part from it. It's so, so easy. And with the peak or the mouth, it is really, really important to take it out, especially when you are making for a large quantity of people. What I don't really mind is the eye. Lots of people also take it out, but for me, I don't mind, all right? So once I'm done, I'll rewash it again with some lime juice and then go ahead and cut it into the pieces that I am um, comfortable with. I like to make these incisions on my face so that the inner part of the fish is also going to grab all that good mess of the seasoning that i will be applying on this fish now everything is nice and clean let's go ahead while i will be introducing you to the rest of the ingredients that we will be using for the stew so for the stew recipe i will be using tomato paste some garlic ginger onions habanero pepper and some red bell peppers use as many onions as you can okay i also have some french beans as well and here i have some tomato puree some seasoning which i'll list each and every ingredient below i also have some fish seasoning and oil and of course some salt to taste so here i will be seasoning my fish with a remy fish seasoning this is not sponsored but it's something that i really really like especially their fish seasoning is one of my favorite it is not salty at all so i am so so into it i love every spice that allow us to season the salt ourselves it is so so important to and with me. the season now go ahead and put some oil in my frying pan allow it to heat up and then add some peppers and onions. the infusion of this ingredients will help add extra flavor to the oil and here i'm adding some bread yes <laughs> yes i know bread is out of the norm but it's going to help your fish not to soak up the oil and it's also going to maintain its crispiness but not stay in the oil for a very long time so yes this tip was learned from my dear sister Quantress kitchen's mom she has lots of tips and i really really i'm thankful for her all right so please put this tip in your pocket and you will be glad you did go ahead and fry your fish until they are crispy brown like this I 
aroma in here is just so heavenly the bread trick works magic please try it okay and go ahead fry it until you're done with everything the head is my favorite part <laughs> what about you <laughs> So right now we are done frying everything. They look absolutely tempting. They are more than perfection. They're just so gorgeous. <laughs> This is what you were looking for. You can end here, pair it with your king K, your fried yam, anything that you so prefer. You know what? Just stay so that we make our stew together. To begin with, I'm going to blend my ginger, garlic, roast some onions, onions calabash, nutmeg. These are the only ingredients that I'll be using as my natural seasoning. I also added one habanero pepper. So let's start off with a stew. In my pot, I'm going to add my oil. Please choose whatever oil that you so wish okay your oil is heated up just go ahead and add your chopped onions allow it to fry for about two minutes pour in with my blended natural spices fry that for about two minutes as well and then add my tomato paste here i use about just 200 grams of tomato paste and i'll add a teaspoon full of curry powder Important to fry the base of your tomato stew for about three minutes before you add your tomato either fresh tomato or tomato puree here i use tomato puree because i think it's much easier it does not need a lot of time to get ready so i'll make sure i stir it for everything to combine and cover it and allow it to simmer through for about five to seven minutes on a medium heat and then once that is done i'll add my spices any spices of choice here i love my bay leaves some nutmeg and curry powder and of course some salt to taste very very easy from super super easy i'll cover it once again for it to simmer or cook through for about seven minutes and i'll get my garnishing or vegetables ready So right now seven minutes has gone by so the stew is almost there it's almost almost there we have about five minutes on our side make sure i clean the edges because you know stew right it is it goes everywhere so now i'm introducing my fish mm, smells absolutely divine in here so so good this fish is not smelling fishy at all and that is what i love about the frying method that i use please please put that in your pocket okay once that goes in i'll then garnish it with any vegetable of choice and you're good to go baby <laughs> So you just gently stir everything and allow it to simmer for two minutes and your stew should be ready as simple as that today we are pairing it with some white rice you can definitely go for kinky yum potatoes whatever that you prefer it is absolutely delicious i love the stew with lots of salad and yes if this is not screaming gorgeous i don't know what will <laughs> It is so so tasty and, and just so so appetizing. My favorite part of the fish is the head. Let me know about yours. <laughs> okay, I'm curious to know. There you have it, family. Absolutely simple, delicious, and very healthy. I truly believe that you are going to love this once you try it. Okay, please. 
please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this recipe and if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovey Touch. my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos so please come on board and subscribe to join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one